Hey party peeps, Carl Bryan here coming at you. Another edition of Ask Carl Bryan. I trust you guys are all doing well and fabulously. I certainly am. Okay, so I got a question here from Andrea. Um, Carl, how do I find coaching clients that can afford me? Okay, so uh, good question as per always. And I, I know for a fact that this is on a lot of people's minds because I hear it all the time. Carl, I... I run these events and everybody's broke. Everybody that I sit with to close high-end coaching clients can't afford me. Everybody that I try and close, I always say I can't afford it, and I know that they're not being necessarily untruthful because they are legitimately broke and I can see it with my own eyes. Um, okay, the answer to this is you need to accept that 90% of the population is flat broke, okay? Including the folks running seven-figure businesses, often they're broke as well. In fact, last night I was watching a, um, uh, an edition of The Prophet. If you're a Shark Tank or a fan of Dragon's Den, shows like that, um, and you're not watching The Prophet, you really should. In my opinion, it's the best one of those shows. It's, it's, for us, it's the best show out there, as in us being business coaches. So he sits with businesses. They pretty much need to be doing seven figures to even get looked at by him to go on the show. So he'll sit with these folks and they're doing seven figures and beyond and they're flat busted and literally, you know, often days away from shutting the doors. So, you know, don't think again that, you know, these, these business coaches, executive coaches that are taking on these bigger clients, they have these amazing businesses that are all rolling in cash. And there's plenty of businesses out there doing incredibly well. And trust me, you can find those as coaching clients, but don't plan on it. If you put together an event um, with 10 people expect eight or nine of them to be broke. If you manage to put 100 people in, event, in an event, expect 80 to 90 of them to be broke. It's just that simple, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. So, but answer to the question, Andrea, I wanna break this down, four steps. Um, number one, you must be able to monetize broke people, okay? It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Number two, you've gotta be able to help broke people become not broke people, okay? Makes sense. Um, you want niches with a high unit of sale, okay? And then you also want, if it's me, I want a niche that I can easily help, okay? I don't want just any niche. I want it to be a niche where I've got experience. I've got expertise where I can bring it to the, the industry. So let me break that down. So number one, um, you've got to be able to monetize the broke folks while having a membership site, as an example, for that's like $100 a month or $200 a month, that's a way that you could do that. I know for a fact that most coaches, because I've sat with thousands of you and I know literally you know, tens of thousands of you, you know, a lot of you don't have an automated, um, templated deliverable that you can put out there for $1,000 without it being a, a time for money suck, okay? So you need to have that. If you need a membership site, by the way, I can get you one in 30 days, but the bottom line is you should have something along those lines. Um, how do you help people that are broke become not broke? And with fear of sounding a little crass and harsh, but you actually have to get good at what it is that you do. As a business coach, if you're not helping people make more money, you gotta close up shop. Like that's what we do for a living. Um, and again, I don't have time on this video, obviously, to go through all the different niches and the ways to help them and you know provide them massive amounts of cash up front. Like what we do as a company, when we meet a new business coach, we teach them immediately how to sit down with a business owner and then find them $10,000 in 45 minutes without spending a dollar on marketing or advertising. Well, all you need to do is follow through and deploy on these eight strategies that we'll teach you, but you know, you gotta deploy on these basic fundamental, um, you know, fundamentals of business and, and make sure that the client deploys and motivate them, kick them in the pants and have the right roadmap. So that's, you know, in a nutshell how you do it. But, and maybe I might just break that down also. If I'm working with a client, I can normally break it into three areas where I need to help them generate leads. I've got to help them close the business, okay? And then I have to make sure that they're delivering on the promises that they're, that they're putting out there during that um, previous step, step number two of closing them to make sure that they're going to be getting referrals and they're over delivering that sort of thing. Okay. Also your client should have a back end. Like you'll find like if you have a company that sells swimming pools for a living, well on average they don't have 
you know, they don't do servicing of the pool. They don't sell the chemicals on the back end. That's a huge mistake. There's more money in chemicals and servicing pools than there will ever be in digging, you know, digging dirt and putting in a pool. Um, an example of a, you know, somebody who sells dogs, they don't sell dog food. There's way more money in dog food than there will ever be in selling dogs. Okay, so helping your client build a proper business model is kind of what I'm getting at there. So at the end of the day, though, you've got to be good at what you've got to do. You're good at what you do. You've got to do your research and you've got to help broke people become not broke. Um, number three, niches with a high unit of sale. So like, let's say that you get a massage therapist and they charge $100 for a massage. That's not the coaching client that I want because if, if I'm $1,000 a month as a business coach and the massage therapist, my client charge $100 for a massage, she or he has to do 10 massages to break even on my fees, okay? Um, if I'm $2,000 a month and that's 24 grand a year, that same massage therapist has to do 20 massages to break even every month. Neither of us need to meet that particular you know, client nor coach to know that that relationship's probably gonna be a short, uh, short-lived one. But however, let's say that you got a customer and they are a roofer and they charge, like let's say there's $5,000 of profit on the average roof that they build. Okay, well, if you're a thousand dollars a month, that's twelve grand a year. Help the roofer do three deals. Three multiplied by the five thousand dollar profit is fifteen grand. You paid your way three deals per year. Help them get six deals done per year, and you just doubled that. And all of a sudden, your your client's never going to want you to leave. Okay, so so higher unit of sales. Uh, that's important when I'm looking for clients. And then I'm also looking for a client that's easy to help. Um, refer to your own experience, your own expertise to tell yourself which clients are going to be easy for you to help. But let me give you an example. I like to work with um, service-based companies like a realtor or a mortgage broker would be an example of a client that I love. Because first of all, let's say a realtor sells a house. They make roughly 10 grand, you know, five grand on commission, $10,000 and above, okay? Easily pay my way. But also on average, they're gonna be, they're really disorganized on average. Um, so what you need, all you need to do is put tracking and follow-up processes in place and you will be able to help this realtor, realtor do unbelievable numbers for the next 12 months. And the same with a mortgage broker and other service-based businesses like that. You need to have a follow-up, even you as a business coach, on average, you're probably on the disorganized side if you're really good at the selling of the business coaches services. So this is something that we can help you do as well, get you know super um, you know, organized and super diligent with your follow-up because it's absolutely critical. So that's what I would, um, that's what I'd say there folks and I hope that helps, Andrea. Um, and guys, thank you so much for watching and if you'd uh, like to like this video, that would be super appreciated. If you know another coach that needs this information, please uh, comment below with their, uh, their name. If you would share it, obviously we would deeply appreciate that. And also make sure that you get um, your subscription to the Six Figure Coach Magazine. And also when you go there, you're gonna see I've got some video training specifically for coaches and that's available, it's totally free of charge. So please do that. So guys, that's it for this edition of uh, Ask Carl Bryan. Thank you so much for coming and we will see you next time.